Difference number four. Matcha is not the same as powdered konacha tea. Although konacha literally means powder tea, it shouldn't be confused with matcha. As mentioned earlier, matcha tea is ground using granite grinding wheels. Konacha is actually just made up of the dust and small bits of leaves and buds that are left behind after the processing of sencha. Difference number five. Matcha is consumed differently, making it healthier compared to loose leaf green tea. Matcha and loose leaf sencha have a plethora of health benefits that attract tea drinkers. But because they are consumed differently, one is inherently better for you than the other. Here's why. When we steep loose sencha leaves, we are not getting all of the antioxidants and nutrients that we would be getting if we were to consume the entire leaf, like you would with matcha. To drink matcha tea means to ingest the entire leaf. By doing so, we get more of the health benefits the plant has to offer. Difference number six. Why is matcha more expensive than sencha? As we've discovered, the process of producing matcha tea requires more labor than producing sencha tea. Here are two reasons why matcha tea is more expensive. One, it requires more involvement, care, and skill to produce. Two, quality matcha is only grown in specific geographic regions. Bonus content, fake matcha versus real matcha. How to spot good quality matcha. As with most things in life, all matcha is not created equal. There are some things you should keep in mind when venturing into the land of matcha. Here's what to watch out for. Where in the world does quality matcha come from? When it comes to green tea, it's all about the quality of the soil. The plant grown to produce green tea is very sensitive, so experts suggest purchasing matcha from Japan rather than China, as the concentration of lead tends to be higher there. You want it to look like bright green grass, not taste like it. Don't be fooled by fancy packaging. While location is crucial, so is the color of your matcha. If you find yourself with a can of matcha that is dull in color, chances are that the quality is not what you are looking for. Now, if you open up the can and are delighted to find a bright, vibrant shade of green, almost neon, then congratulations. You've got yourself a high-grade batch of matcha. No stems or clumps here. Another thing you want to see in your matcha is that it's been properly de-stemmed and de-veined and thoroughly ground. You don't want to find any clumps or pieces of vein and stem lurking in your fresh can of matcha. Last but certainly not least, taste. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, matcha should be sweet with earthy, savory, and sweet whispers of flavor. We've certainly covered a lot of ground. Much of what you need to know about the two kinds of teas, from how they're made to how they're consumed, has been neatly laid out for you. Now you can relax and make yourself a cup of matcha or sencha tea and reminisce about the journey it made from the fields to your lips. Thank you very much for watching. Now we have a question for you. Which tea do you like better, sencha or matcha? Please comment below and let us know. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And if subscribed, click the alert notification button. Japanese Green Tea Company, harvested with love in Japan.